Well, we have to address, first of all, what crypto means, because that means different things to different people, but I'll just go ahead and give you my take on that. I think that there's crypto, your garden variety crypto that uh, people create and they, they hope that they create a meme coin or something and they can make a, a bunch of dollars with it and then run off with those dollars and go buy a Lambo. Um, and then there's then there's Bitcoin. And I, I hesitate to use the word Bitcoin because now nobody will basically see this video because it'll go algorithmically distorted um, and only a handful of people will see it. But I'm gonna answer your question on this. Um, Bitcoin is, is, is a completely different deal because it's a finite amount of coins and it's decentralized. Nobody controls it. There's no CEO um, for Bitcoin. So it's, it's a currency. So Bitcoin is a currency. It's not really an investment. I, I don't consider it an investment. Um, do, do, I, do I own Bitcoin? Yes. Do I have some paper dollars in my pocket? Yes. I mean, I, I consider them a currency. Um, you know, I, I know that there's a whole bunch of people out there that say, well, no, 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 it's an investment and it's an investment vehicle. Yeah, those are people who want you to convert it back to dollars because every time you have to convert back to a dollar to do something, you keep it alive. Uh, I am very honest about this. I want the end of the U.S. dollar. I want the U.S. dollar to collapse as soon as possible because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pyramid scheme. It's a Ponzi scheme. And it's doing an enormous amount of destruction to the American people right? Myself included. I mean, it's, it's, it's destroying a lot of things, it's destroying the fabric of the country. There's a reason why our founders said only gold and silver show the currency. And it's because at the time, only, you know, physical, and then by the way, they talked about coin, not gold backed paper dollars. It, they were talking specifically about coins. So we've gone away from that because they wanted to keep this industrial revolution thing going and, and keep keep expanding everything or create the illusion of expansion which is what's happened so so in answer to your question um i mean like look if it's just your garden variety meme coin shit coin nonsense out there yeah it's probably just another ponzi scheme like everything else or a pump and dump scheme which is just you know get people excited about it for like an hour an hour and a half which is about all it takes and then if you can, if you've got enough liquidity, dollar liquidity, you can get out of it and then, you know, take your big bag of dollars and go buy a Lambo or something like that. But that's effectively what you're trying to do is you're just, you're trying to game the system. You're just trying to get people, no different than trying to get people to come to your store and buy a product, right? I mean, like, let's say you sell washers and dryers and, and you want people to come to your you know, to, to, to crazy Ollie's, you know, uh, you know, washer and dryer where my prices are so low, they're insane. Um, it's no different than that. So then they buy these, these meme coins or shit coins and they have that and you have their dollars. Okay. Um, that's not the same thing as, as Bitcoin. And, and, you know, and, and, and so I, I hope that that, that makes sense. But as far, and, and as far as like a uh, Bitcoin, as far, you know, there's the, the people out there that say, well, but Bitcoin just keeps going up and down in value and changing. And it's not going up and down in value. There's the same 21 million coins that have existed since, since day one. It's not going up and down in value. It's just being manipulated dollar wise. You're just seeing the dollar do all of that. And it's, it's to give the illusion of instability because when, you know, if, um, I'll give you an example. I spent six months on a ship. Okay, you know, in work out in the in the Bering Sea on a ship, uh, and I was on the ship, so I didn't touch land that entire time. When I got back on land, I was actually very disoriented because nothing moved, right? That's Bitcoin. For if when you finally get it through your mind, when people finally get it through their head, and they don't want to move anymore, then they actually go to Bitcoin. And they they stop trying to transact, go back to dollars, right? You go you go to Bitcoin, you stay there, and it takes a little while to to adjust your orientation because nothing's moving. It's stopped. It's stagnant. It it it's just it's just a currency that nobody can counterfeit, right? And it takes a while to get people used to that kind of thing. And as I've pointed out on many occasions, bad money chases out good money. It is not the other way around because people are greedy. They're naturally, they, um, their natural existence in this world is to conserve energy. So anybody who comes to them with some scheme or some idea about how, hey, look, I'm, we're gonna do this and we're gonna get rich quick and then we can just sit around and do nothing kind of thing. Well, yeah, that's because that, that appeals to the, to the get rich quick and everybody. That appeals to the, the, the desire for the unearned. I mean, and lots of people will fall for that. Part of the value system that used to exist, um, you know, 
in, in terms of Christianity. And this is not talked about in Christianity anymore, from what I can tell. I, I'm Again, I'm saying this as an atheist, that what I don't see in Christianity being talked about is actually work ethic anymore. And the idea of not trying to, you know, gamble away uh, your future or trying to, you know, like, I don't see that talked about hardly at all, unfortunately. Um, it's why I consider it to be effectively a dying religion. And I'll be surprised if, 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 if garden variety Christianity even survives another 200 years uh, at this rate. You know, oh, Catholicism will be around, but I mean, like that's that's not really, that's that's not really, that's that's just give us a bunch of money so we can buy a bunch of property and build a bunch of cathedrals and be be low key rich. Um, it's whatever, okay. But um, but yeah, I mean, th this is just kind of how to look at that. So it, so to me, Bitcoin is a currency, and it doesn't really move. Right, and unless you keep trying to extract dollars from it, okay. But if you're always having to get dollars, then you know, then it's just not gonna. It's just it's gonna seem unstable all the time. So hope that answers all your questions.